Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, and welcome back to the RDI campaign on Legendary Difficulty. So in the previous few episodes we took Delminium and we took Yada, and then after that we defended Yada, and we are looking pretty good. We have our first full province in this campaign, and we have an edict issued, which is the Bread and Games, which gives us four food and plus six public order. Now I am thinking about where to expand next, if we look at the over screen here. We could go down to Epirus, perhaps take uh, Apollonia and Brundisium. I was thinking perhaps going over to Italy from the shore, from the sea, because apparently I read on the forums that the RDI have pretty good ships, pretty good navy in this game, so it might be worth doing that. Or I go inland towards Pannonia and Thrace. So let's go and see how it goes. If we quickly look on the diplomacy, we are at war with Rome anyway, so we could just do that. Athens doesn't like us, but the rest of the people, they're pretty pretty happy with us. Epirus actually likes us. They, we could actually trade with them perhaps. Let's see if we can get a trade. I am honored to receive this embassy. It's moderate. And will listen with interest to all you have to Maybe say. some money. Okay, how about just Your trade? Would be well oh. Damn. I think Veneti. A flapping tongue that speaks Won't have a non-aggression pact. The score DC. Well met, friend. Nope. Sit and let your words move me. Etruscans. What about the Etruscans? Greetings to you. I Excellent. I about trade. The name of our no, that's okay. Macedon. I am honored to How about Macedon? Non-aggression pact, moderate. Well done. This I is good. This is important at the moment. The sure knowledge that I have served. Hmm. Athens. Uh, the Bru the Bruci. You are welcome, Ortho my. Right, so we'll quickly go through that. Right, that's fine. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go for Arminium next then, because they do have a port here, so we can get some more trade. And they have Neapolis, and of course they have Rome itself. And the Etruscans must only have... Yeah, they only have this over here in Sardinia, so they won't be lasting too long. I think this fleet, in that case, needs to come back to Yadda then. And then this army, which is in Yada, which actually needs to take a few turns to recruit a few more, because we are slightly depleted right now. Actually, I'm going to merge some of these units. There we go. We have quite a lot of mercenaries which we don't need, so I think we'll get rid of the cab for now, as our money goes up. I don't want to leave too many... Although, saying that, we have got a garrison, so... Let's just get rid of all three of them. Disband, there we go. And then... Yep, that's fine. Ooh. Dominion, one more turn for the Grove of Vidasus. Decent army coming along here. I may recruit a few more, or maybe not. Do I need any more men in this army? Uh, well, if we're quite safe on the south, so I think we'll leave it there for now, and then we'll just recruit in this army instead. We've got one ballista, a couple of levies, a couple of these Illyrian hoplites would be useful though, so we'll recruit another one of them. And the ship as well, can't recruit this turn, but one or two more of them. I should probably upgrade my ports, that would probably be beneficial for me, which we can't do yet until we get some more money. So for now we're going to end turn, and we see how things go in this end turn phase. I hope you guys are having a great day. And let me know in the comment section what you think of this new uh, DLC, the Pirates and Raiders. Do you like the factions that we've been given as playable factions? Do you like um, the RDI or uh, the Dacian faction? The, the Getai? Let me know what you think of them in the comments below. Ooh, increase in rank. Excellent. Let's go and do that straight away then. Boom, 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 boom. What do you want to go for? I'll go for some cunning, I think. Unhappy. Oh, that's not good. It's fine. Troops recruited. Trait gain. That's my... Ooh. Procrastinator. Plus 3% construction cost. Local province. That's okay. Isn't it? I don't know. It's got an angry face. See, this game is one thing which I don't like. It doesn't really explain things very well. Like, that looks like a negative trait, but it says plus three to construction costs, so... Oh, wait, that's, that was mean it costs more. Silly me. It's okay. I worked out. <laughs> right, I can upgrade my Barbarian Hamlet in Yada. 
and that would give me minus two food but we got 15 food at the moment so we're really good there I'd get some marble which is good uh, minus four percent construction cost plus one growth yeah we'll go for the barbarian village and then we can probably spend the rest on some men here so Illyrian raiders are a lot better than Illyrian levies so you may as well go for them I could probably get rid of the levies let's see the cop 78% upkeep or 78 yeah 78 88 so it's 10 more get one of them in that case and we got no money again <laughs> oh, maybe I could take Arminium now what do we have we have 8 plus 2 oh look at that 3 Rory 3 plebs 2 levies we can take this with the ship probably oh, I think I could take it with this right guys this is legendary this is radius let's be ballsy as my art teacher would say let's be ballsy we're gonna go for it. I'm gonna leave Yada like it is. I'm actually not gonna leave it. I'm going to raise another general because I'm allowed to have four. So we're going to raise force and who are we gonna get? Uh, Agron, we'll go for you. Raise army. You can have uh, cavalry. I like having generals with cavalry. Stick him in there. Public order is now neutral, of course. And then we can't really afford. Oh, we can afford some spearmen. We'll get you a unit of spearmen just for now. Then this ship here, which is. Uh, the Raiders of the Sea, which has six units all together, plus my army of seven units, plus my, of course, my champion helping it out as well. We can go for Arminium in the next turn. I'm hoping that they won't garrison it by the general or anything, and we can take this. Hold them off here, and then try and go down and perhaps take uh, Brundisium or Neapolis, because Epirus has now been pushed back from Brundisium. I think that's a pretty good strategy. I hope you guys agree with this. And we're going to click end turn again. Fly through the end turn and see if we can get a battle in this episode. I hope we can. Oh, and speaking of the garrison, <laughs> there they are. <laughs> they just realised that they could be under attack. And the AI has been smart and has decided to garrison Arminium. Or Ariminum. I think it's supposed to be Arminium, but they've got the Latin kind of spelling in this game. Same with like Rome. It's, it's not Rome, it's Roma. And, and Carthage is Carthago. They've kind of gone for the ancient kind of... Uh, uh, spelling right plague disease ooh minus 10 public order per turn that's not going to be good for me because let's see doo -doo -doo -doo. minus 71 yeah, we're okay at the moment I think we're plus anyway we could go in and build a shrine of Vidasus which will give us plus 4 food and plus 2 public order plus we get some wealth which we could do this turn but I want to keep my money this turn to help me uh, establish stronger armies because I need to get some here actually upgrade my generals quickly but there and we're gonna go for another unit of ballista for now and we'll get another spearman because why not now what we got here Ar Ariminum has Rorari plebs and levies like I said and has two raid and hemiolia so has ten altogether plus oh got a navy here it's gonna be quite awkward I might need some mercenaries which we can get it's only gonna be for one turn so let's see what costs the Right, that costs the most. Mercenary Italian spearmen. We can get some coastal levies. We've got some coastal levies. And we're going to get some. I think we're going to go for the Italian spearmen. And we can actually afford these, which we may as well go for, I guess. Right, guys, battle time. We're going to try and go for it. Boom. So, all we got, we have 1,320 versus 1,208. See, they've got many plebs and levies. I think we can handle them pretty easily. Astarte, General Lucius Cursor. I'm quietly confident. We have some siege equipment as well, so we can whittle them down. But anyway, guys, I shall see you all on the battle map. Okay, guys, welcome to the battlefield. And there we go. Our navy will be coming in shortly back here, which is a terrible position to be in. Look at all the the ships they have and straight away I'm going to turn my ballista like in the previous episode when we wiped out loads and loads of these units off the beachhead we're going to try and do the same again here take out some of these ships unfortunately they're so near the the coast right now the the beach that they will probably disembark but it's worth trying to get a few shots in maybe pop a few of them off if we can quickly which I'm hoping for and my navy can actually branch forward and try and cause some damage and straight away straight away my <laughs> it's done it again well done look at this another ship gone for starty 
and the general's over here, look, Lucius Cursor is in a transport ship. I didn't think the army was actually in a transport ship, so this is going to be interesting. We're actually going to send the whole navy towards the general. If I take him out, then who knows? But oh my god, look at this. Oh god. This is just too weak. This is how you play as the RDI. You just, you just get naval battles and wipe them out with ballista. This is just insane. Two ships gone. Let's see. I should have a counter on the screen. I might actually put a counter on the screen for you guys if I remember when I edit this video. Just to see how many ships I can sink. <laughs> oh, is the general gone? No, he's not gone yet, but he will be shortly. And we're going to bump into this ship right now. Let's see if we can sink another one. Go for a nice zoom in. Zoom in of this action. Oh, here we go. One, two, three. Oh, look at that. Get in there. And again. Another ship coming in. Secondary ship. Oh, this is just too intense. Oh, my... my <laughs> we sunk another one, I think. Just keep sinking, boys. Just keep sinking. I don't really care about throwing my navy away. <laughs> just just kill them all. <laughs> oh, their general's gone. Their general, Lucius Cursor, has had enough and he's just jumped into the water. Total disregard for his life and safety. I'm going to charge this ship. Probably not a good idea. That ship looks a lot bigger than ours. Well, we're going to try it anyway. I think we'll try it anyway. This battle is just too easy. This, this naval battles in this game are insane. They just don't make an awful lot of sense. Boom. Bump into them. They go oh, they've we've sunk another one. <laughs> We've lost some ships ourselves, but... Man, oh man. Let's see if we can get a couple of manual shots in. Oh, wrong button. Can we? I thought we could actually... No, maybe, maybe we can't with this... Uh... That's a shame, I thought we could. Oh, it's for there. That's weird. I was hoping I could actually have manual control over... over that, but I'm mistaken by the looks of things. We've actually sunk most of these now. This is totally insane how we can do this. We're actually routing most of the navy now. 155 Rorari against Mercenary Italian Spearman. This Spearman should win this easily against Rorari. Rorari are not the best unit in the game at all. Mind you, my Spearman are getting pushed back a little bit. 90, 88 men remaining. That's not good for me. The levies here. I think they they shattered. They're running away. They've had enough. <laughs> yeah, navies in this game. Well, especially for the RDI, they, they seem to be quite pretty insane uh, units. But I think we can probably turn our attention to the actual town now. Just get my army to march in and just take it. I think. March them up to there. Get the general in there as well. I know that they, most of they are, what they have in the town are the garrison and. That mainly entails that they are, in fact, uh, garrison. So they are the levies, um, plebs, those kind of units. They're not going to pose too much of a threat, to be honest with you. I could have actually not recruited those two mercenaries. I could have probably done this without them, but it doesn't matter. I can always disband them the following turn. I just wanted to make, sh make sure I had a few bodies there, because the, the AI does outnumber me in this battle. So I thought it was worth trying to actually... Uh, do that. I'm gonna actually send my ships into the port along here. I'll send them around first and we can actually hit them from two sides. I'm gonna control my ballista, get them to move forward. I don't think we're gonna be quite in range with my ballista. No, we're out of range. We probably won't get many, that many shots in this battle. I would like to level up my general. He's a three star general at the moment. He's at rank three. If we can get him up again, that would be great currently has uh, some good buffs with his charge bonus, his melee defense and his base morale. Good old Brykos. I want to make him a beast general. One of my best generals in this campaign. That's what I'm hoping for. I don't want to needlessly throw him away. So we have plebs at the front. We have Lucius Triarius of the Rorari on the flank there. We have some levies over here. We have some plebs at the back and then we have some Rorari which are for some reason defending this path when I'm the other side of the battlefield. So I don't know what they're trying to do there. Maybe they've seen something I haven't. I don't know. Who knows? Support some of my support ready. ships are actually uh, wavering for some reason. I don't know what's going on. So I think it's because they got their sh they're low on numbers. I'm not too bothered about that to be honest. Kill them all. That's what I say. 
kill them all. Actually, we're going to group up three of these first and get them in, and then the second group could just follow behind to get them all into the port. Cavalry is in position. So what stats, what uh, buffs does my general have? So he has uh, Inspire, he has Second Wind, and he has the Diamond Formation. And actually, speaking of my general, I think it's fair to say that we should have a pro proper look at him in this battlefield, in this battle. So where is he? Where is my general? Let's have a look. That's not him. Nope. Usually in the middle. Um, oh, that there he is over there with the little helmet. Let's see if we can get a better look, you guys. Good old Brykos, where are you gone, my old boy? Brykos, Brykos, Brykos. I think I'm going blind. Ooh, where are you? Brykos. There he is. There's good old Brykos, legend of Illyria. That's who, he will, that's who he is, that's what he will be by the end of this campaign. If he stays alive, of course, because I, I do have a habit of throwing generals away needlessly. But I want to try and keep him alive as long as possible, try and level him up as best as I can. He'll be known as the Beast of Brykos. Battle ready and eager. Right, so my ships are in position so they can now uh, start shooting. Oh, we haven't got any ammunition. But in that case, we're going to throw these on to the beachhead. I thought we had more am ammunition than that. That's a bit disappointing. We're going to charge in with them. Bring the general a little bit closer as well so we can we can multitask the AI now a little bit. Oh, let's show. We'll see if we can get a few shots in. A few pot shots for good luck. Woohoo! That doesn't look too bad, actually, guys. Surely we've got a few kills here. Boom! Excellent. Lovely little shot there. How many do we kill? Oh, we killed a few. We did kill a few there. Excellent. We're going to throw some of these men away, but who cares? <laughs> Use the whip. My units are fresh. They are eager for battle. We're going to hit the way the first wave of these units. We're going to attack the plebs and try and take them out. I know I've thrown some of my naval units away, but you know what? Sometimes it's a risk worth taking. It's a pity we can't disembark along here. That's a one one of my complaints with the amphibious battles of this game. You can't actually fit. I mean, in real life, you could fit easily another ship in by here, another ship in by there. You could have five across this beachhead, but unfortunately, the design features of this game doesn't allow that. And I think Brykos is uh, eager to go for a nice charge here. Woohoo! Brykos, get in there, my boy. Give some inspirational. Oh, what happened there? That ruined the charge. That was a little bit unfortunate. Just get them all in there. Come on, charge. Brykos, get in there. Into the plebs. Into the plebs he goes. Oh my god, look at that man over there. He is dead. And we got some spearmen charging as well, so we're gonna attack the levies up there with that unit. And the rest can now help good old Brykos. Who's losing men drastically, so I better get him out quickly. <laughs> Don't wanna lose him now. Get him out there. Oh, I forgot to throw in one unit of hot legs. Silly me. Made a mistake. Illyrian cavalry. Just send them all in. Big massive mosh pit. Whoa, not you, Brykos, you get back. It's too early for you. Oh, he didn't get many experience. Only 59 kills, that's quite bad, actually. Hoping to get more than that. I will send him in now, actually, to because I think he can probably take on what's left. Yeah, they've all routed anyway. We're going to continue the battle briefly, and we're just going to let, let Brykos get some kills. So we're going to get this on so we can see how many he gets. We've got 66, 66. Ooh, he's going up quite, quite fast. This helps his experience go right up, look. If you keep an eye on the little mouse cursor over there. You'll start to see that gradually go up when it, when it gets more kills. The higher tier that you are, the longer it takes to fill this meter. But it's important for the auto resolve because I think it does actually affect that. But anyway, I think we've done enough here, so we're going to quickly quit battle. Decisive victory. Victory for the Illyrians. And my, my ballista, it, it says 63 kills, but we took out a good 7 or 8 ships there completely dominated that battle. Most of the Roman units that, are, that were out there got sunk so they didn't get any kills. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven ships were sunk in total by my uh, ballista and Arminium is ours. Oh, into the face. That is not going to be good for you when you wake up. So, close at victory. We're going to occupy Arminium or Arminium and we have some level up to go. So, we are going to 
level up. We can go for five percent shots per minute for all archers. But we've got the research rate at the moment. I'm happy with that. Two local food or two growth. We can go for authority and morale. I like to have authority and morale. That's a really good one to go for. Let's get that ship embarked here as well. We're going to have to try and hold this for our life now because Rome, I imagine, is going to come from Velathri. The good thing is we've, we've got a, a beachhead now on Roman land. It should make things a little bit easier. Um, as expected, my... Oh, actually, the, uh, the uh, mercenaries are still there. We can't recruit anything at the moment. What do we have on Arminium? Oh, we've got to convert all of these. Can't afford to do it this turn, unfortunately. So we're going to be suffering some bad public order for a few turns and probably will have to in that case get some mercenaries Ready because we can't actually recruit any any decent units we got another another army here the heralds of death being built and let me know in the comment section guys what um, army names you'd like me to have so so far we have the raiders we have the heralds of death and we have the wrath of armatus but I'd like to know what you'd like and then I'll try to rename one or two of these armies for you guys. But I'm going to end this episode here. Hope you've all enjoyed. I've been Dragonheart. Until next time, goodbye.